Hello, hello, and welcome to this MP3 tutorial. My name is L Array. We're gonna talk about a heart real quick. Let's digest this, and I'm excited. We're just gonna go through the basic circulations, talk about oxygenated, deoxygenated blood, arteries, and veins. This is just the real basic, just so we can get a good foundation on how to get this started. Now, um, right here, if you look at my mouse, let's start from here which would be number one and by the way these notes this M slide I'm using is used by my professor Dr. Frederick and again these videos and mp3s are for non-commercial purposes it's free for college students and let's go here right here where my mouse is number one um, that would be your right your right ventricles now blood comes deoxygenated blood enters the right side of the heart through the right atria right here and goes in to the right ventricles now through the right ventricles blood is pumped out to to the pulmonary arteries which is our number two and right here and the pulmonary arteries carry deoxygenated blood to the lungs to the lungs so you can see the arrows so it goes to the lungs deoxygenated blood excuse me is carried by the pulmonary arteries to the to the lungs now the blood flow uh, it goes to the capital capillary beds it loads oxygen unloads co2 so the, this blood when it goes to the lungs right here number three on both sides on both the left and right part of the lungs um, the oxygenated blood is oxygenated it is loaded with oxygen now oxygenated blood comes back is carried by the pulmonary veins right here number four is carried by the pulmonary veins into the left atrium now there's a misconception that um, all arteries carry oxygenated blood and all veins carry deoxygenated blood. That is incorrect based on the circuit. So in the pulmonary circuit, which is the circuit in which blood is oxy deoxygenated blood is oxygenated. So right here in this pulmonary circuit, which is from your l right ventricles to your pulmonary arteries right here to your capillary beds in the lungs where the blood is oxygenated and CO2 is removed and um, oxygen is taken in, is loaded. It is carried by the pulmonary veins right here into your left atrium, into your left atria, <coughs> into your left atrium. So this is the pulmonary circuit. Now what happens? The, the blood is oxygenated, so pulmonary veins bring it into the, le the left atrium. It is then pumped, pushed down into the left ventricles. It goes through the tricuspid valves right here into the left ventricles. Then it is pumped out and carried, pumped out through the aorta, which is the one of the largest arteries in your body. The aorta then pushes out all of this um, oxygenated blood to the systemic circuit or to the rest of your body uh, let's see if I have another slide here um, okay yeah so we've talked about oxygenated blood coming into the left side of the heart to the left atrium uh, and then from the right left atrium to the left ventricles and it's pumped out by the aorta to the systemic circuit which is to the rest of the body and don't forget the systemic circuit includes the heart itself because the heart itself is an organ uh, so that's something you should remember and test day so it goes on now and make at the capillary beds of both the um, abdominal orga organs and the hind limbs and the capillaries in the head and the forelimbs this oxygenated blood rich with nutrients and many good stuff for our body and for our organs it is deoxygenated and so now blood comes from the superior part of the body uh, blood deoxygenated blood is returned here at number nine let me see if I have another slide for that yeah deoxygenated blood is returned through the superior vena cava and at the inferior part of the body or inferior of your abdomen um, deoxygenated blood is carried to the inferior vena cava and that goes back to your right atrium so that's how blood is transferred around the body in a very simple fashion so let's uh, let's just do this one more time so number one right here number one 
the oxygenated blood enters the right atrium. I just start like starting from the right atrium. You don't necessarily always have to start from the right atrium. It is numbered on the left side of the screen in that order, but we can start from anywhere. For example, let's start from left ventricle, for example. From the left ventricle, it is pumped out through those valves right there and to the through by the aorta to the rest of the body. You would expect because so the left side of the heart is pumping more blood to the rest of the body while the right side is the right side of the heart is only pumping through the pulmonary circuit just to the lungs so that it is uh oxygenated. You should expect and if you see a question like this on testing you should automatically know that um that the left side of the heart may be thicker walled and you should also already start thinking anatomically anatomically that the ventricles are probably thicker walled than the atria than the atria so just remember that so we're right here from the left ventricle it is pumped through the aorta to the systemic circuit and the superior part at the capillary beds those nutrients are exchange there's exchange that goes on and we'll get into that in a little bit those exchanges go on in the superior part and also in the inferior part and the deoxygenated blood is carried now this time the veins are carrying deoxygenated blood in the systemic circuit in the inferior part of your body inferior to your abdomen they're carried by the inferior vena cava and in the upper part of your body that are carried by the superior vena cava where they all regroup again at the right atrium and the circuit goes on and on. This is the simple explanation of how blood is tra how, of how blood travels through the heart and through the body. And just basic steps, just remember the four different chambers, where they are located, how they're pumping blood, where is blood oxygenated and where is it deoxygenated and remember the circuits don't just try to memorize it just think of the circuits in the systemic circuit which is the body the entire body most all most of the arteries are pumping oxygenated blood in the pulmonary circuit most of the arteries are pumping um <coughs> deoxygenated blood and remember arteries carry blood away from the heart and veins carry blood towards the heart and just like you see here in this pulmonary circuit you should expect the same in the umbilical circuit of a child because the placenta you would expect the reverse of the uh, systemic circuit so yeah if you are need any extra help with this just replay the video and you'll be good to go on test day just a simple basic foundation here for you thank you